night, but it could have been way more than that. Around others wounded. The first 911 call coming in around 7 p.m. from a local bowling alley that was hosting a youth night for a kids' bowling league. We have an active shooter. We have multiple injuries. Authorities releasing these surveillance images showing the suspect they're looking for. His name is Robert Card, and he's pictured armed with an AR-15 style rifle. Mr. Card is considered armed and dangerous, and police advise that main people should not approach him under any circumstances. Megan Hutchinson and her 10-year-old daughter Zoe were at the bowling alley. Zoe's leg grazed by a bullet. I never thought I'd grow up and get a bullet in my leg. Why? Like, why do people do this? After allegedly shooting several people inside the bowling alley, Card is believed to have traveled about four miles to a local bar and restaurant. Sources tell ABC News that Card has a history of military service and is a firearms instructor. He was treated at a hoping Bill Young and his son would be among the survivors of the shooting here at the bowling alley. It's also been hard to process, especially since the manhunt has entered another day. Grief comes in different ways, and for Rob Young, that includes anger. Human waste, human scum. I, I'm sorry, I, I, I got no nice words. They're harsh words for Robert Card, the man accused of shooting and killing at least 18 people at a bar and bowling alley in Lewiston Wednesday night. Among the victims are Rob's 43-year-old brother, Bill Young, and 14-year-old nephew, Aaron. They were at spare time recreation for Aaron's Youth Bowling League. It's bad enough to lose my brother, but Aaron's 14. He has whole life in front of him. Rob flew in from Maryland as his family frantically searched for answers. Just hours after landing, he says a state trooper delivered the tragic news. It feels like we're going to wake up and we're all going to... Youth Bowling League. It's bad enough to lose my brother, but Aaron's 14. He has whole... Um, <laughs> the reason why I make videos is truly because I want to record the level of retardation that we are forced to experience um, as target individual. And I'm sorry I keep using that word, but there's no other way to best describe this level of stupidity that is on force onto us, this is forced into us. Um, this perps contracted by these governmental entities, their job is to drive the target individual into insanity and make them accept into this stupidity of reality. You just heard um, these horrible things that happened about three, four months ago. In October, a man ended up killing 18 people. The reason why I keep bringing that up, why him specifically? Not only because it was the largest mass shooting of the year, the 10th in the United States, but because this man was a target individual, he showed a clear pattern of what target individual went, goes through. He's not the first to say the same things before causing what he did. Man was listening to voices and the voices were saying derogative things to him. They, he was hearing voices that were calling him a pedophile. This is the typical things they do in this program to break the target individual in and break the target individual down. And so and so to 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 break these people who are target individual, this they do these tactics of trying to break their egos. As I'm saying that you can hear all kind of noise campaign because what you just heard is a man who ended up killing eighteen people and out of this eighteen people you just heard a child Die, who got killed, and also a nine, a ten-year-old who got killed. Now, this is going sounds very nonsensical, but I need to say that because I want to show the level of how our brain is just manipulated. In the, what happened on that day, this man went in the bowling, and. He shot a, a, the, the bowling alley where that night was a special night for kids. It was youth night. 
the youth league was there. That means there were a lot of children around. Thankfully, unfortunately, only one died, but it could have been way more than that. And you heard Zoe, this, this little 10-year-old, saying, why would somebody do that? Unfortunately, Zoe, the reason why this man did that is because he was a test subject in a program where they're using very sophisticated technology and use test subjects that are human beings where they drive these people into insanity. They say very disturbing things that can cause somebody to be very angry to the point where they can kill everybody they see. That's what happened. To counter this horrible thing that shows really what this program is about and how disturbing and dangerous they are to children, the way they have manipulated my brain to counter this horrible thing that happened on youth night, on that day where a child died, they're bringing up these weird dialogues to try to counter that. Now, today I've mentioned that Me Too, they do this pedophilia type of torture. They force me to have disgusting stimulation toward children, and this is a tactic they've done to many other target individual. This pedophilia type of torture and torment is utilized on many target individual, and unfortunately, this man, Robert Card, was experiencing some of that, at least in a way where they were calling him that, right? Which was enough, I guess, for him to lose his mind. But many others have said the same thing. Now listen to how they try to counter that. I used to be in a relationship with some some uh, my, my ex girlfriend, right? And when <clears throat> when we talked about people who were younger than us, especially because at the time we were, you know, early thirties. So when we talked about anybody who's you know in their twenties or early twenties or so, we call them the youth. So obviously the youth is the much younger, but we will call those are the youth this, this is what the youth is into or anybody who's around like 20 or so or, or younger the way they try to counter that is they're saying oh the youth the youth but hey um and so they make me imagine like oh do you see this 20 some year old you consider her the youth but you can imagine her in a sexual way you see and, and they're like you. and then this the, the now what's happening is it's becoming so bad in my brain. This is the kind of dialogues, this technology truly manipulates thoughts. Truly has the ability to dumb yourself down. And as I'm saying that these people contracted to make noise can be they are slamming things. They they this is how stupid they're forcing you to be. And so because I used to have this conversation to kind of like laugh up at, you know, like the younger individuals, right? And for us we thought even like somebody who's in the early twenties, the younger, right? Now, of course, the kids are kids, but we also would say the youth would also consist of somebody in their 20s, early 20s. In my head, the way they're just manipulating this, because you just heard this man killing 18 people on the day where there's a youth league, which obviously means children, not talking about adults or young adults. They're like, you see the youth, huh? Oh, but... You see how you you talk, talking about the the, the the youth and whatever. And now I'm talking about the youth, even inclusive of like the twenties. And it was just a way to just kind of say how the younger people what they do, you know, what the, you know the, the the younger individuals do things. And so that was inclusive of people within in their twenties. And then then my brain would make me think of somebody who I would consider the youth in the sense that they're in their twenties, but they're you know young adult. But they're younger than me. And you see, you can imagine yourself with this person that you consider the youth. Because they're in their early 20s. You can imagine yourself some, and be like, you see, that's proof you are. And try to make me subscribe to this pedophilia type of torture. This is how illogical this thing is. As I was saying that, you know how the stupid things that was happening? There's people making those campaign. There's people slamming the door. It's because they want you to identify with this manipulation. But on top of that, they try to block the, the fact that this man killed 18 people on the day where there was a youth league, which consists of kids as young as 10 years old in that league. Endangered ch children's life because he was pushing to that level of insanity where he didn't care who, who he was shooting at. But he thought that those derogative things that were being said to him were saying to him by people over there. 
This man was 40 years old. He's no way he was schizophrenic. Because you don't get schizophrenia symptoms at 40. You get them way younger than that. If you haven't heard voices talking to you before then, that means that you, most likely this is not the case. But what is considered the V2K voice to school where you can hear people projecting their voices onto your brain directly. They've been using these tactics on, on to target individuals so many times. And they, used, they consistently call people pedophiles using that to counter that because that means that they involve in a program that just caused one of the largest mass shootings you can imagine. They try to break it down and uh, uh, try to, to counter that by this retardation of trying to create this false logic which in my brain they're capable of making you think in these ways. The delusional trash. This is, has to be things get in, in, in the target visual brain because they can rewire logic in ways that is illogical. To try to say, no, you've called people youth and that you could imagine in ways that they are, would you can see them in a sexual way. Because to you, when you talk about the youth, you also talk about people in their 20s. Right? But you try to be kind of funny about it. Is you see the youth? And then try to make me imagine now that you talk about kids. Oh, stupidity. It's truly the stupidity. And they really try to box in this. To counter the fact this man ended up killing 18 people. This is when you, you know your life is compromised to that level. And people around are supposed to do what they're supposed to do and try to counter this. Because on youth night, the youth league... A man killed 18 people. And this is the try to counter that. And for me to bring that up in front of them. You know, now what I do is when they're around me, I say, rest in peace, Aaron. Because this is the 14-year-old kid that died. When he was just enjoying himself on youth league night, on playing bowl, bowling. These people are the human low life trash. Regardless of whatever's going to happen to me, these people have to live this life to come to reality. To a motor individual, please stay strong. Please. Others wounded. The first 911 call coming in around 7 p.m. from a local bowling alley that was hosting a youth night for a kids' bowling league. We have an active shooter. We have multiple injuries. Authorities releasing these surveillance images showing the suspect they're looking for. His name is Robert Card, and he's pictured armed with an AR-15 style rifle. Mr. Card is considered armed and dangerous, and police advise that main people should not approach him under any circumstances. Megan Hutchinson and her 10 year old daughter Zoe were at the bowling alley. Zoe's leg grazed by a bullet. I never thought I'd grow up and get a bullet in my leg. Why? Like, why do people do this? After allegedly shooting several people inside the bowling alley, Card is believed to have traveled about four miles to a local bar and restaurant. Sources tell ABC News that Card has a history of military service and is a firearms instructor. He was treated at a hoping Bill Young and his son would be among the survivors of the shooting here at the bowling alley. It's also been hard to process, especially since the manhunt has entered another day. Grief comes in different ways, and for Rob Young, that includes anger. Human waste, human scum. I, I'm sorry, I, I, I got no nice words. They are harsh words for Robert Card, the man accused of shooting and killing at least 18 people at a bar and bowling alley in Lewiston Wednesday night. Among the victims are Rob's 43-year-old brother, Bill Young, and 14-year-old nephew, Aaron. They were at spare time recreation for Aaron's youth bowling league. It's bad enough to lose my brother, but Aaron's 14. He has whole life in front of him. Rob flew in from Maryland as his family frantically searched for answers. Just hours after landing, he says a state trooper delivered the tragic news. It feels like we're going to wake up and we're all going to...